Hey guys, Dan the Man here. Today we're gonna open this baby up and then uh, up, uh, see what we can upgrade inside there and what are the options available for us to upgrade. If you wanna add RAM or NVMe SSDs or let's say swap the battery or do whatever you wanna do basically on this device. So let's start basically undoing the screws. There is one, two, three, four. There's four on this side two long ones there, one long one there, and two long ones on those sides, and two medium-sized screws there, two medium-sized screws there. By the way, this screw and that screw, it doesn't come off. It's basically attached to the back panel. So, all you need, a screwdriver. You're gonna screw this thing. Here we go. If you want, you can actually skip this uh, part. This is the ROG Strix uh, G15. All right, oops. Make sure you're not losing your screws. Put them somewhere, he would know. So as you can see, these are uh, medium-sized screws. Not me yeah, medium-sized screws actually, yeah. So, let's undo this thing this is actually a pretty good laptop when it comes uh, to thermals or things like that it doesn't heat up much it's quick it's fast it's got an ips screen 144 hertz and uh, it's a beautiful machine see long screw there that's a long one right there so another one in there here we go out another one there Taking it out. By the way, opening the back cover does not void your warranty. It has nothing to do with that. The warranty sticker is actually on the CPU heatsink, which is inside the computer. Let me take this out. All right. There we go. Medium size, medium size, long, 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 long. So you know where to put them once you take them off. So you're not accidentally gonna put the short screws in the place for the long screws. All right. By the way, now we're pretty much done. You can take the back panel off, but don't. Don't do it yet. Uh, because there is uh, this RGB uh, strips, basically they have a ribbon cable attached to the motherboard. So it's just gonna take it off like that. You might rip it apart and then it would be very hard to find replacements for them, I would say. Anyways, or impossible perhaps at the moment being. So let me get my focus in the middle. So once you actually undo these two screws, you can see it just pops up automatically. So you can just work your way around from that side to uh, around it okay you can move it up a little bit okay just a little bit gentle push towards this way towards the exhaust push the panel forward towards the exhaust okay you got it off okay now all right let's be gentle with it don't go crazy or anything There are some clips, yes. You can use your nail or a bank card around it. Let's take it off. That area. The corner. Okay, it's off. So now turn the laptop the other way around towards yourself where the exhausts are. Gently lift this up and as you lift up, you can see these ribbon cables are connecting. Uh, don't open it from the other way. Turn it, open it from the way that the exhausts are, okay? Those are thingies, the heat pipes. So you, there is a latch in there, small latch. You open it, it slides out. There is a small latch in there. Not sure if you can see it well. Lift it up, slides out. Same thing, you put it back in, boom. Close the latch in there. Two, one, two. Now it's off safely. So look at this beautiful machine. Let me zoom in a little bit. 
All right, let's see if I can get a better focus. That's good enough, I would say. Anyways, so you got two RAM sticks right there. That's your CPU, that's your GPU. Do not open this. That's what uh, will void your warranty in there, that sticker right there. So don't touch anything on the board, the red parts. Do not touch anything until you have actually uh, detached the battery. So how do you detach the battery is that you, there is a golden, not golden actually, it's a steel or silver looking latch. You push it back, you hear a click. Once you do that, use your a cart or nails or whatever. Just lift it up gently, it will come off. See, battery disconnected, easy. So now, since your battery is disconnected, you can touch pretty much anything in here. The reason I said that, you might be shorting something if you touch one of the resistors or capacitors or MOSFETs or whatever that's there, basically. I'm not an engineer or anything, but I'm just telling you to be safe. So, you open this thing, this latch on two sides, the RAM stick pops out. Boom. One 8 gig, 3400 megahertz Samsung, another 8 gig crucial, 3200 megahertz. But it's gonna run at around 2900 megahertz, because that's Intel 10th gen maximum uh, speed it can run the RAM. Imagine you have your RAM. This, is back, this, was, this was actually a brand new RAM that I got yesterday. Easy. You just put it back in there, gently push all the way in, align it with these two clips in there. Push back, boom, you're done, golden. Same thing with your NVMe SSD, there is one there, it's got this shield to protect it from the heat or something, I assume. There are two more NVMe SSDs that you can upgrade in here, and there is a stand for it. Two NVMe SSDs you can put in there, plus the one that you already have, and you have two RAM slots in there to upgrade it up to, I think, 34, 32 gigabytes, I'm sorry, we don't have 32, 34 gigs of RAMs. So that's pretty much it. Do not open this thing. You don't need to change thermal paste or anything because this has that liquid metal in there and it's gonna last for a long, long, long time. So your speakers are right there. Your batteries here is being held by one, uh, one and two and three and four screws in here once you do that boom it just pops out just like that now we're going to put the battery back in you just gently push this down there in its place and then you have to push the latch back to cover it beautifully done so the battery is attached connected the ram slots are in there you can add ssd if you wanted to like i said and this is a pretty good laptop actually the internal is pretty beautiful well managed but i wish they could use a better use of this space add a little bit more capacity so you can have uh, more battery in there okay before that i forgot to tell you guys something so let's say you want to close this thing back put it all together again so you push that there gently okay and then all you have to do the latch is released you see there is like a help for you with that blue ribbon cable-ish thingy there. You just slide it in gently. Be gentle with it. All right, it went in, close. Another one, same story. You turn it the other way around until you have the blue side towards you. Put it in, close. Boom beautifully done amazing so now you have that thing connected you just simply put it back together just like that just press on the sides make sure that it's going in put the long screws in another long screw on the other side make sure click you hear a click it goes in its place you're not meant to be opening and closing this thing every day though that's, that's not, it's not designed to be like that but it's very actually upgrade friendly you can upgrade it lots of upgradeability options i like the ram that it's not soldered on those like on those ultra books you know which is annoying long screw in again push a little bit in as you are doing be gentle don't go crazy or anything. Uh, 
and we have two more short screws that one goes there actually four more two of them goes here every time you hear click make sure you tighten the screws just a little bit don't make it like so tight that you're gonna damage the screws or the computer just tight enough that you know that it is sealed you press a little bit down all right awesome fantastic and don't forget about these two screws there that are actually on the board all right you push a little bit and then you tighten the screws back if you're bored with this process you can skip it make sure it's all screwed in nicely not so tight but tight enough you know so that nothing is loose or lousy in here done beautifully and that was a little bit loose just make sure it's tight enough not very tight like I said before now once you lift it up the gap is actually closed that it opened automatically which I like it's a nice design they did a great job in uh, implementing this design to their computer now you have it switch it on see if it works I can already see that the RGB works yes the RGB works and the keyboard and also the back panel now let's wait for the booting screen it might take a while because you just put in a new hardware I mean you swapped it in and out okay it's all here it's done yeah you have your 16 gigabytes RAM installed. If this was helpful, give me a thumbs up.